Welcome to Med in 5 channel. This video will explain the deoxyribonucleotide synthesis. Nucleotides are components of genetic material, such as, DNA, or RNA. Here we have a nucleotide. It contains, a nucleobase which is shown with blue highlight, a pentose sugar, with yellow highlight, and a triphosphate group, shown with the green one. There is an important difference between pentose sugar of RNA and DNA. The RNA has a ribose pentose, as a result its nucleotide will be named ribonucleotide. While the DNA has a deoxyribose pentose, and its nucleotide will be named deoxyribonucleotide. Notice the sugar structures, the ribose sugar has a hydroxide group at second carbon position, while deoxyribose has only one hydrogen at second carbon position. So, it lacks the oxygen. This gives origin to the name, deoxyribonucleotide. There is a specific reaction that transforms ribonucleotides into deoxyribonucleotide. The ribonucleotide starts the reaction, under the effect of reductase enzyme. The enzyme, a triphosphate macroergic compound and magnesium, will remove one oxygen from the hydroxide group of the second carbon position, and produce a deoxyribonucleotide. During the reaction the reductase enzyme co-affects a hydrogenated protein, removing two hydrogens from it, and create a bisulfide bond at the protein. The hydrogenated protein should be regenerated, in order to be used in next deoxyribonucleotide synthesis. This is possible with an opposite reaction, with the help of hydrogenated nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide phosphate. The reductase enzyme is an allosteric enzyme. Regulation of nucleotides quantity produced, includes activity of three types of sites in its structure. The first type is the active site. It binds the substrates which are ribonucleotides. The second type is the regulatory site, which represents the allosteric character of the reductase enzyme. The ADP will act as positive allosteric effector, which means that it promotes the deoxyribonucleotide synthesis. In contrary, the deoxy-ADP, will act as negative allosteric effector, which means it will inhibit the synthesis. The third type of site is the substrate specificity site. For example, when the thymine deoxyribonucleotide is bounded at this site, the enzyme will produce another type of nucleotide, the guanosine deoxyribonucleotide. The same pathway occurs with the other types of ribonucleotides. Be careful, uracil deoxyribonucleotide is not used in DNA synthesis. As a result the cell will convert it, using a methyl group from tetrahydrofolate, to form thymine deoxyribonucleotide. In this way the cell produce the quantity needed of the deoxyribonucleotides. That was a brief summary of the topic from Med in 5 team. Thanks for watching. For other videos like this, please click subscribe.